Hi, my name is Angela Huffman. I'm an APQS dealer and an educator with the APQS Long Arms for Lifelong Learning Center. In this video tutorial, we're going to take a look at the common pebble fill. We're going to talk about spacing and density level and how to use a swirl or a curl to fill up the space so that your uh, background filler goes a little faster when working around applique. A nice background filler uh, around applique is pebble work, and I'm sure you've probably seen it. It's just small circles, and kind of the key to pebble work is to vary the size of your circles. And um, it makes it go a little faster, and the eye doesn't notice the small uh, symmetrical changes. So it, uh, it, it helps fill the space, and it's very forgiving. Um, you'll notice that I'm kind of traveling along the edge of each circle as I stack them around. And one of the things that makes that a little easier is I have an open-toed hopping foot on this machine. Um, this uh, APQS Millennium has uh, interchangeable hopping feet. I have the low-profile open-toed foot so I can get nice visibility, especially around applique. So you can imagine this filler is going to take some time, right, because it's so small. So what happens if I make every other circle kind of bigger? And I'm actually going to put a little curl in each one, and then I'm going to stack little uh, pebbles around it and then make another large pebble with a curl and then go in and fill with smaller and medium-sized pebbles. So that'll make it go faster, but let me show you one more little trick um, that will also help speed up and fill the space. So I'm just going to build my, my little pebbles of various sizes around this kind of larger one. But if I throw in a large S-curve, so S-curve, and I'm going to come back, and I'm just going to repeat those four times. Okay, so that ate up a lot of space, made it way faster. Now I'm gonna build my pebbles around it with all different size. I'm gonna throw in a larger pebble with a curl and then build smaller ones around it. And um, I also like, instead of just a curl, if you make a large pebble with a swirl, kind of looks like a cat eye uh, marble. And then just keep building your pebbles around this S-curve and it'll add some flow to the applique, to the filler design behind your applique, and that big S-curve helps to kind of eat up some of that space. Okay, so now look here, I've got myself kind of wedged in. I've got my, I came down here to fill in these pebbles, and these pebbles already existed, so I'm kind of locked in here. So I'm just gonna travel along my existing path, and it's very forgiving in that way. I just have to be careful with my backtracking. And then I can keep going, and now I can throw in another F curve. One, two, three, four, and then put in my pebbles and go around it. So try this on your next uh, applique quilt. I think you'll enjoy the density level. It looks really good on modern quilts as well. Um, but that S curve and combining with larger circles helps pebble work go faster. Thanks for watching. For more information about APQS machines, please visit APQS.com. Be sure to like us on our Facebook page and join the conversation. Subscribe to this YouTube channel so you're notified every time a new video is posted.